Huawei is back. After 684 days, the new products of Huawei Mate 50 series finally meet with you. Today, Huawei is once again amazing with two black technologies in the fields of communication and mobile phone photography, which it is best at. Huawei Mate 50 has become the world's first popular smartphone that supports BIDA satellite communication function and adopts variable aperture technology that has been used in SLR cameras before. At today's press conference, Yu Cheng Dong, CEO of Huawei's terminal business and CEO of Smart Car Solutions BU, took the stage twice and gave a passionate speech for nearly an hour and a half. Yu Cheng Dong, CEO of Huawei's terminal business and CEO of Smart Car Solutions BU. At the beginning of the press conference, Huawei reviewed the development history of the Mate series from 2013 to the present in the past 10 years. A familiar theme song, Dream It Possible, and Yu Qingdong's shouted It's OK to be together, instantly made the scene the atmosphere heated up. Yu Chengdong said excitedly holding Huawei Mate 50 series on stage, after two years, the Mate series is back. It is worth mentioning that, as the one more thing of the press conference, Yu Chengdong also released the first intelligent luxury pure electric SUV of Huawei's Wenjie series, Wenjie M5 EV, at the end of the press conference, and its road perception response speed has been improved. 100 times faster, achieving 4 milliseconds. In addition, there are upgrades in comfort, intelligent experience and battery technology. The rear drive version of the CLTC has a cruising range of 620 kilometers. First of all, let's take a look at what big moves the Huawei Mate 50 series has been holding after two years. 1. Support BIDA satellite communication and can send emergency messages without signal. 2. The main camera supports 10-speed continuous adjustment of the variable aperture, and the camera has a higher degree of freedom of depth of field. 3. The emergency mode is realized through the energy accumulating pump. 1% of the power can stand by for 3 hours or talk for 12 minutes. 4. The screen is protected by Kunlun glass and the drop resistance of the whole machine is increased by 10 times. In terms of processors that everyone is more concerned about, Huawei Mate 50 and Huawei Mate 50 Pro use TSMC 4 nanometers Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus 4G version chips, while Huawei Mate 50 e uses Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 4G version chips. Camera Lens Technology Landing Mobile Phone 10 Stop Continuous Variable Aperture Adjustment Taking good pictures can be said to be one of the most prominent features of Huawei's mobile phones. Taking pictures is also a technical field that Huawei focuses on. This time, the camera module of Huawei Mate 50 series adopts variable aperture technology. It can be said that the technology in some cameras has been moved to the mobile phone, which is eye-catching. In simple terms, the aperture is equivalent to a door that controls the light entering the mobile phone lens. The aperture has the final say on how much light can enter the mobile phone lens. The most obvious effect of aperture on the photo effect is the depth of field. The larger the aperture, the smaller the depth of field. At this time, things in the distance will become blurred, and only close objects will be photographed clearly, which will create a unique visual effect. In addition to variable aperture technology, whether it is super macro, shooting or periscope lens modules, 
it is not new. If Huawei wants to continue to lead in imaging, it must come up with some exclusive things of its own. Huawei has cooperated with Leica for many years before, and just this year, Leica joined hands with another player in the smartphone track, Xiaomi. OPPO teamed up with Hasselblad, Vivo teamed up with Zeiss, and Xiaomi teamed up with Leica. Today, Huawei, which is fighting alone, took out its own imaging brand Xmage. Yu Chengdong said that Huawei's Xmage will focus on four major technical fields such as optical system, mechanical structure, imaging technology, and image processing, such as multifold periscope lenses, high standard motors, and high sensitivity sensors. Whether the Xmage brand can bring more innovative technologies in the field of mobile phone photography in the follow-up and maintain Huawei's reputation of good photography is very critical for Huawei. The mobile phone realized BIDA satellite communication for the first time. Can 5G mobile phone cases achieve true 5G? A week before the release of Huawei's Mate 50 series, there was a lot of news that Apple's iPhone 14 series will use satellite communication technology. Well-known Apple analyst Ming Kai Kui also issued a document confirming that Apple will definitely use satellite communication technology in the iPhone in the future, but it is still uncertain whether it will be used in the iPhone 14. But he specifically mentioned that the Huawei Mate 50 series may first release a similar satellite communication function for communication in emergency situations. As soon as Guomingchi's voice fell, Huawei began to officially warm up satellite communication technology, which also confirmed that Guomingchi's preliminary investigation was reliable. Regardless of whether Apple will apply satellite communication technology in the iPhone 14, this time Huawei is indeed the first to apply this technology to mainstream smartphones. This time, Huawei has released the world's first smartphone that supports BIDA satellite communication. In some cases without signal, such as in desert uninhabited areas, earthquake-stricken areas, or in distress at sea, users can use the BIDA satellite message function to send their own location information is sent to the outside world. At the same time, with the help of multiple pieces of location information, the system can also generate a map of the movement trajectory of the object to be rescued. According to the existing information, whether it is mobile phone chip manufacturers Qualcomm, MediaTek, or mobile operating system manufacturer Google, they are already actively promoting the application of satellite communication technology in smartphones. What is certain is that the satellite communication function will definitely become the standard configuration of smartphones in the future. It is worth mentioning that Huawei's Mate 50 series will still not support 5G communication this time. The use of satellite communication technology to improve the competitiveness of mobile phones in communication has also diverted consumers' attention to not supporting 5G. This step of Huawei can be said to kill two birds with one stone. Huawei Mate 50 Pro uses Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus 4G version processor. Huawei Mate 50e uses Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 4G version. Although some third-party companies have already made 5G communication mobile phone cases used on Huawei mobile phones, their performance is not ideal according to the actual measurement by the media. The mobile phone case realizes 5G communication by opening the 5G ESIM card service. The 5G connection is not stable. 
Occasionally, there will be a disconnection situation and it will fall back to 4G. At the same time, when the mobile phone is charging, it will automatically switch back to 4G. Simultaneous with the 5G connection. In addition, according to the actual measurement by the media, the indoor download rate of Huawei P50 Pro with a 5G mobile phone case is only about 866 megabits per second, which is not even as high as the peak rate of 4G. At the same time, the mobile phone case will significantly increase the power consumption of the mobile phone when it is in standby. In general, the current effect of realizing Huawei's mobile phone 4G to 5G through the mobile phone case is not ideal.